Hey UC Irvine, my name is Zach Ferguson and welcome to the first episode of ASUCI's new video series, The Zod. The Zot is a monthly feature that promotes upcoming events, encourages an inclusive campus, and celebrates life as an anteater. In each episode, we'll be showing you what's going on in the different ASUCI offices. Speaking of the different offices, we'd like to introduce you to your ASUCI executives for the upcoming year. Nicole Satomi, and I'm this year's ASUCI president. My office aims to act as liaison between students and administration to ensure that your student needs and concerns are being met and addressed. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Gamble and I'm the executive vice president for this year. The UP office advocates on a local, statewide, and national level to fight for the accessibility, affordability, quality, and diversity of our higher education system. Hi Anteaters, my name is Tony Tiscarno and I'm your Administrative Affairs Vice President. This office works on connecting students and administration on everyday campus services such as parking, housing, and dining, as well as putting on many fun different events for you all. Um, so if you're interested, just come check out this office. Hello everyone, my name is Skyla Zhang. I am your Academic Affairs Vice President this year. The Office of Academic Affairs strives to cultivate student leadership and raise awareness about the various and dynamic resources on campus through mentorship, leadership, and enrichment programs. Hi, my name is Dominic Dern, and I'm your Vice President of Student Services for this year. My office aims to enhance the student life here at UC Irvine through events such as Welcome Week, Shocktoberfest, Ways Goose, Ray Fest, and many more. Welcome to ASUCI! Now that you're a little familiar with each office, we want to take a minute to let you know about this month's upcoming events. To start, the Executive Vice President Office is very excited to be sending a delegation to the Students of Color Conference, an annual UC system-wide event that promotes awareness and education about issues that affect students of color. The event will be taking place at UCLA from November 15th through the 17th. The Office of the President would like to extend an invitation to all students to attend the Art Lab on November 20th at 6.30 p.m. at the Student Center Terrace. Art Lab displays pieces submitted by students, including performances, in order to showcase talent in our community. Student Services wants to let you know that the Defend the Brand series is back. But there's a new catch this year. Attend 15 of our men's basketball home games and you'll get a free jersey. Shuttles will be provided to the brand. Finally, Academic Affairs is hosting a video game night at the Zot Zone on November 13th, where you might get a chance to play against your favorite professors and learn a thing or two about video game design. And in conclusion, we would like to cut to a very special interview we conducted about something that we think you all will enjoy very much. And now we are very pleased to have a guest with us here today. Tracy is from the ASUCI Films Commission within Student Services, and she's here to tell us about a very special film screening coming up on November 14th. Tracy, could you tell us more? Yes. On November 14th, 7 p.m. in HIB 100, we'll be having a movie screening of Fruitvale Station, which is a movie that's based on the true story of a fatal um, death of Oscar Grant, who was an African-American male who was shot by the BART policeman in the Bay Area. So we'll be screening that at 7 p.m. And then earlier in the day, on November 14th at 2 p.m. in the Cross Cultural Center, we'll be having a discussion with the current BART police chief, who will be talking about the theme of race, media portrayal, and community policing. 
So we're very excited about that. Our whole theme is to talk about issues of race, culture, and diversity. And so we're excited. So Absolutely. Yeah. And are all students invited to attend these events? Yes, all students are invited. The event is free. We will have a preferred seating for the first 50 people who show up to the earlier event at 2 p.m. And then those who show up to the film screening will get free giveaways. So, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. And so, Eaters, that's definitely an event you do not want to miss. November 14th, beginning at 2 p.m. with that discussion at the Cross Cultural Center with the BART Police Chief, followed by that 7 p.m. screening of Fruitvale Station. Definitely head out to that. I will see you all there. And if you have any questions or want any more information on any of the events we talked about today, you can check out the links in the video description below. I hope you all enjoyed this premiere episode of The Zod. We'll be back next month to keep you in the loop. Until then, I'm Zach Ferguson. Zod Zod.